How's it going everyone? My name is Connor and before the video starts, all the links and everything that I mentioned in the video will be down in the description below. If if you have trouble following what I do, I'll also have the steps down below, like very simplified and everything. Um also if you'd like to see how I got Bandicam registered for free, um please leave a comment and I can make a video for that. Hello everyone, my name is Connor and today I'm gonna be giving you guys a quick tutorial on how to fix missing textures in Gary's Mod. Now, if you don't know what missing textures are, um, if you've ever, like, gone to a server and you've seen, like, you, you got these pink and black squares all over the place, it's really, it's really annoying, and these, like, errors, these error blocks, I don't know what to call them, but you, you see those all over the place, and they're, they're really annoying, so here's a way to fix them. Now, the, um, I guess primary way to, f to usually fix them is by downloading the game that the textures are from, which in this case... Um, Counter-Strike Source, which is where most textures come from for Gary's Mod. And Half-Life 2, of course. But, anyway, um, well, you you don't need to go and buy Counter-Strike Source from Steam or whatever. Um, excuse me. Um, a better way you can fix it is without downloading it. You're, you're not going to be downloading Counter-Strike Source. You're simply going to be, um, downloading the texture files for it. So, you want to go into the link in the description that I provided, and once you get to the website, you want to click on this tab right here, Gary Content. You want to scroll down until you see all of these weird download things. And right here is Counter-Strike Source, and you want to go, go ahead and click on any of these links. I recommend the uploaded one. That's one I prefer. And make sure you're clicking on the game content and not maps. And then you go ahead and click on it, and it's going to send you to an ad file link. And it should say, please wait 9 seconds, and then just give it some time. And it should pop up with an ad. Don't click download, don't click on anything here. Just click on the skip ad up there. And then close that tab that it pops up. And then this is the tab that you want. Now, right here, if you go ahead and click the free download, don't worry about the premium download, just do free. It's going to say processing. Sometimes what it'll do is it'll pop up another tab with an ad. But I have an ad blocker, so it doesn't do that. And it's going to make you wait. And then you can go ahead and download it. So I've already downloaded it, and it's going to take a while because it's a very large file. But I've already downloaded it, so we'll go ahead and see what it looks like here. I should have it here. Yep, there it is. And when you get it, it should be named CSS, some, like underscore something, content, add-on, something like that. Now when you get the file, what you're going to do is now that we have that step done, you want to go find your add-ons folder. So, give me a moment. I have a couple of tabs open that I don't need to have open. Alright, you're going to go to your computer, your local disk, program files. In this case, it's times 86. Um, so, show your Steam folder. Steam apps. Common, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod again, and then Add-ons. Now once you get into this folder, you're going to see all the, um, you may or may not see a bunch of files here. It, it all depends. But if you don't see anything here, that's okay. That might just be, be because you don't have any add-ons. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take this folder, and you're going to drag it into the, your add-ons folder. And it's going to take a bit to extract. By the way, when you download the file from this website, it's going to be in a, I'm pretty sure it's RAR, in a RAR file. And to open up that file, you're going to need um, a program such as WinRAR or 7-Zip. I'll have a link in the description to install that to, so that way you can extract the um, folder. But once you do that and you carry the folder into this, you're going to ne need to rename the folder to a specific name. And this name is, hang on. It is CSS underscore capital C, and then the rest is lowercase, so con- wait, I don't even know if I spelled that right. Content with a capital C underscore add-on with a capital C hyphen capital J, lowercase a-n, and then no space, 25th, wait, 2015. And then once you do this, um, just go ahead and leave the file there. 
And next time you load up Gary's mod, all those missing texture files should be fixed. Leave a comment if this doesn't work for you, and I'll try to help you out. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this quick tutorial, and I'll see you next video. Bye. Hello everybody, my name is Connor from... Hello everyone.